Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for free premium sports picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me be upfront. Understand the risk involved, right? I'm here licking my wounds from today's Yankees Twins Major League Baseball game. Right? Many of these bets are going to lose. All we're trying to do is to pick value and put ourselves in a position to win. Right? But that doesn't mean the event is going to turn out the way we want it to. Let's look at Wimbledon. Novak Djokovic has made the finals. Right earlier, I encouraged you to put money in his bracket on him and Andy Murray. Well, he's delivered. He's won the bracket. Now he's in the finals. You should be realizing some leverage off of the time in which you picked the Djokovic part of the bracket. Right now, he's taking on Roger Federer in a bracket that I expected to be won by Rafael Nadal. Right, and I expected Nadal to be able to handle Federer in the semis. Right, Nadal got knocked off early by the 144th ranked player in the world. It happens. I would take Nadal in that match tomorrow if it were scheduled to happen in tomorrow. But that match has already happened. Nadal lost that match. So now Federer is in the finals. We're looking for an edge on the casino, understanding the risk involved, understanding that the casino has already beaten me on a bet I placed today. Here's how I'm going to go about betting this finals. Right? And keep in mind, because I play futures, I already have money on Djokovic and Federer. Right? So I'm going to be okay regardless. But for this match, not content to sit on my hands. I'm going to push the ball up the court. What I want you to do is I want you to look at the set betting being offered by casinos. Now, it's my belief that Roger Federer in his 30s has to pace himself in matches. It's also my belief that Djokovic hasn't had an easy time of it in finals events lately right he's been struggling look at his record so at the risk of losing everything I'm gonna recommend you bet here right in my own portfolio I don't believe that Djokovic or Federer is going to win this match in straight sets. I believe somewhere during this match, both men are going to win at least one set. So I believe ultimately this thing ends, right, in four or five sets. Armed with this belief, I'm going to set bet it. In other words, rather than take a guy simply to win the match, I'm going to take distance in tennis. So, write these odds down. Djokovic to win in four sets is a plus 290. Djokovic to win in five sets is a plus 500. Federer to win in four sets is a plus 500. Federer to win in five sets is a plus 600. Now, hypothetically, if we were to put $5 on each of these four options, understand what happens. If either guy can push this to the fourth set, here's how it breaks out. 
If Djokovic wins in three sets, then I'm somewhat hedged. In other words, I win back almost all of the money that I've bet. I suffer a small loss, but it's a small loss, right? Do the math. If Djokovic wins in five sets, then I get five times five, right? It's a plus 500. I get 25 back plus my original $5 stake, but let's just talk about the win margin. I get 25 back minus 15. I pocket 10 profit, right? I would lose on Djokovic in four sets. I would lose on Federer in four or five sets, but because I'm getting five to one odds on Djokovic in five sets, I'm actually pocketing 10 bucks in total on the transaction. Let's look at Federer. Federer in four sets. You're getting him at five to one. It's all an odds game. So if he wins in four sets, then I pocket the 10 bucks. If he wins in five sets at a plus 600, then I pocket 15 bucks. In other words, as long as neither guy wins this in straight sets, I'm either roughly breaking even, right? I lose a little bit at a plus 290 on Djokovic to win in four sets, right? I'm willing to risk losing that little amount for the upside. I'm either losing a small amount on Djokovic in four sets, or I'm winning at least 10 bucks right with a chance at winning 15 bucks in other words once both guys have won a set I can exhale and I can say okay great now it's just a matter of me either practically breaking even right a small loss or me collecting 10 or more dollars on of course a $20 outlay, right? I'm betting $5 on each of four possibilities. But understand the risk involved. If either guy blows out the other in straight sex and their last match on clay was a straight set victory by Roger Federer, then you lose the 20 bucks, right? You lose it all. Right? The reason why I feel this is definitely going to go at least four sets is, of course, when these two men played in this tournament, in Wimbledon, in the finals of the uh, 2012 tournament, excuse me, in the semis of the 2012 Wimbledon finals, right, that went four sets. Right. Also, if you look at some other matches these guys have had, understand the last five times they have met in four of the five times, the match has not had a straight set winner. So just playing the odds and just playing the grass surface, I believe this makes it to the fourth set. And I believe this bet could put some money in your pocket while having a almost break-even hedge on Djokovic in four sets. Break it out. Let me know what you think. Understand there is risk involved. For those of you who think this is about winning and not gambling, then you've never gambled for a prolonged period of time. You're going to lose some of the plays you have. But here... I like the risk reward. And so I think you should look at set betting. Djokovic to win in four sets. Djokovic to win in five sets. Federer to win in four sets. Federer to win in five sets. 
give it a look since they're offering you a plus 290 a plus 500 a plus 500 and a plus 600 I think it's worth the risk let me hear from you good luck leave your comments for me here online and visit us at gamblersadvisory.com thanks for stopping by